first roll out the fondant and using a pin to prick all the air bubbles that are present so that your fondant stays flat. So now I cut the fondant to size and I cover the cake with fondant, smoothing with the back of my hands and then I will cut it with a pizza cutter and now I'm aging the cake with a fondant smoother and a vanilla plastic smoother. So what you basically do is pinch at the edge of the cake so that you get a sharp edge. So now I'm just going to prepare my cake by putting water over the cake surface. And then I'm going to roll out some rectangles to make the ruffles. I just kind of estimate the size really. I don't really measure it. So as long as it looks like a rectangle, then you're fine. And what I do is just um, scrunch the width of the rectangle so that they look ruffled. So now my cake um, has sort of become sticky because of the water that I put on the surface. I can easily stick my ruffles. So I'm just putting them on the cake and it sticks. Also my cake was cold so when I take it, it's, it's cold because I put it in the fridge and I take it out of the fridge so it sweats a bit so it's wet. It just makes it a lot easier to put the ruffles on. So now I'm just using my paint brush to sort of adjust the ruffles to make it look nice and more um, puffy. So I'm trying to push in the tops of the ruffles down onto the surface of the cake. So I'll roll out a long piece of fondant into like a snake. I'll cut up equal pieces. And I'm going to be rolling it into balls and putting it in the seams of the ruffles so that it looks like buttons. I'm placing um, support straws into the bottom tier to hold up the top tier. I typically place four. That's the top tier going on there. Finishing the cake off with sugar roses and a bear cake topping. Using edible gold glitter and water, I'm painting the buttons gold. doesn't hurt to highlight the flowers and the bear. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more cake tutorials. Thank you!